When people hear the word drone, they may think military aircraft, but some Tucson businesses owners say that is changing. This is Silver Bell Lake from above, video taken from a drone. Not in your sides, Whitney Clark was there. If you look closely, you can see her in the picture. She met with a man who got a rare exemption from the FAA to fly, Whitney. That's right, Guy. Well, it's illegal to use drones or unmanned aerial systems for commercial use unless you have a special permit called a Section 333 exemption. One local man we spoke to today explains why he's one of only 247 people in the country with that exemption. With just a few pushes of a button, Bruce Pogasaw is hoping his online business will take off. He recently got approval from the FAA for his website FPV catalog. He sells all kinds of model aircraft and parts. Now he can legally post videos taken from the skies, testing out his products. I really didn't expect to get the FAA exemption. I thought it was going to be jumping through loops over and over and over again. It's not an easy process and could take months. You have to apply on the FAA website and prove that you will somehow benefit the public. According to a letter from the FAA, Pogasaw was given the exemption because he plans to not only use it for his business, but use drone videos to educate people on our local geography and for search and rescue missions. What we're going to do is start out, you know, doing small product videos and stuff, and if people start asking, we're going to venture into the agricultural inspections. When it comes to drone laws on a state and local level, well, there aren't any. This is brand new technology that just became available, and there are very, very few people who are even allowed to operate these right now, at least when it comes to the commercial sector. Meanwhile, Pogasaw, a lifelong hobbyist, happy the laws are slowly starting to catch up with the technology. I wanted to make sure it was legal for me to fly and do what I like to do. Again, drone rules with the FAA are always changing, and even with the Section 333 exemption, there are a lot of restrictions. You can't be within five miles of an airport, and you can only fly a few hundred feet high. One thing Pogasaw said that has yet to be determined is how the laws are actually enforced. Guy, Stella? He's a veteran who